Welcome back, Smart RVers, to another Fast Tip Friday. This is Eric Stark, the host of the Smart RVer podcast. And today we're going to be talking about the Magnadyne Rear Observation System. So the one that I'm holding up here is an MV-BC1. So this is a camera with a 5-inch monitor. It's a complete system, and I feel this is Magnadyne's strongest system, and it's the one that we highly recommend, and we give it the Smart RVer seal of approval. Now, in a previous video, we talked about the Furion system along with the benefits of the rear observation system. So maybe you ca caught that video, maybe you didn't, but we also, Furion's a nice system and we think Furion and Magnadyne are very comparable. So before I get into the nuts and bolts of the Magnadyne system, what I wanna do is quickly explain the benefits of having a rear observation system if you're not familiar with that. So it's an easy upgrade to any RV, a very simple upgrade. But the benefits for a modern RV can really be, you know, explained in about six or seven points. So for one, you can see directly behind the RV. So you don't, you, the, where your mirrors can't see, you can see with the backup camera. Then also with the 120 degree wide angle lens, you also see off to the sides behind the RV. So you get a much better view than the mirrors will ever give you. And so you can also add on cameras to the side of the RV, like where the clearance lights are in the very rear on the side. And that gives you a whole nother way to view what's around you. So it's a nice option. So the rear observation system is also going to give you peace of mind because traveling down the road, you'll be able to make lane changes or turns with that information that you can see now. You know, not trying to look out the mirrors, asking your passenger, can you see, is it clear? You got the camera doing all that work for you now, so you can confidently make lane changes and turns and see what's going on around you. And also, if you're towing a vehicle, maybe you have a motorhome and you're towing a, a boat, you can see the boat behind you, you can see what's going on with the trailer. You know, the trailer could get a flat tire and you might not even know it in the motorhome because you can't even feel it or see it in the mirrors. So now this rear observation system will allow you to see that and you're not relying upon smoke or debris flying off in the road or someone driving up and telling you, trying to signal you, you got a problem behind you. And also with that being said, you could put a secondary camera in the back as well. You could have one for watching your boat or your towed vehicle. Then you could have another camera above it to give you all the other benefits of a rear observation system because the one for a towed vehicle will be pointing more down than out. It'd still be good, but having a second one would make it better if you want the advantages of that. And it's also gonna simplify backing up into any situation. You know, even if you have your spouse helping you or a friend helping you back up, sometimes you still hit something. You're screaming at one another, you got windows down, you're trying to see things in the mirror, you can't see them, and they're screaming at you to keep coming. It just turns into a big old shouting match. But with the camera, you can avoid all that and you can see what's going on. So you can actually see what you're gonna hit next. <laughs> Hopefully you don't do that though. So how is the quality of the Magnadyne system? You know, that's a question that comes up because it's a good question because there are a lot of rear observation systems out there, but a lot of them don't have the same quality. They look similar, but they're just not the same. Now. In the previous video, we talked about Furion. Furion has a nice quality system. But for the money, I really feel the Magnadyne is a great product. You know, the camera is a very nice camera. It's got a nice look and feel to it. It's a little heavy, but other than that, it's a great system. It's watertight. There's no way water's going to get in this thing unless it was defective. It has the lights in it for nighttime. It has everything you need. It's a nice camera. It mounts in the exact same place where a Furion system would mount. So if you have this on your RV, you can mount this there. The holes will line up perfect where they mount. And this has a rear gasket to seal it where it does mount as well. Now I'd always put a, a little bead of caulking across the top just to keep water from going down. You can go down the sides as well. You don't need to do the bottom. So you definitely want to make sure it's sealed up whichever system you go with. So also the monitor, you know, this is a five inch monitor and it's measured this way. 
So this monitor is much smaller than the seven inch monitor that I showed in the Furion system. I kind of like the smaller monitor. Now this one has the buttons on the front. It's not a touch screen, but these buttons are so easy to use. And once it's on your dash, it's not going anywhere or on the windshield, it's not moving. And it's easy to work through the buttons to program it, to change things, to add a camera, to switch between cameras. Not a problem there. It's got a little glare guard on it, which is kind of nice. You know, you get that glare through the windshield. It's going to help it with that. Has antenna like all of them do. The only thing I don't care for on this camera is this cord. I don't like that. And so what I recommend doing is just coiling it up on the dash and get an extension to go from here into the 12 volt outlet in a straight cord, not one of these coily cords. Now, if this is on your dash in the right spot and it's just going right into a 12 volt, 12 volt outlet, you don't have to go very far, then that's fine. But like in my vehicle, it'd have to go too far, so that won't happen. Or you could cut off the cord and just add one on if you wanted to, but that might void the warranty. So I would just get an extension and do it that way. If the extension cord is too long, just cut it down. Don't cut this. So that's the only thing I don't like about this. It has a Everything else is great about it. So the connection range is about 500 feet, just like the Furion. And we've done it th here in our building through uh, various walls, distances, and it works the same as the Furion. So the connection range is important, but this has a great range. And 500 feet is a long, I mean, what's your trailer and your Tobioka going to be? Under 100. So you really got some range there, you know, so that's nice. It's extra range. So it has the great functionality, has uh, everything you need in a camera system, but how does it perform? Well, what we've done around here in our testing, it performs just fine. There's no issues with it whatsoever. You hook it up to 12 volts, which is what we do. You know, we just hook it up to a 12 volt source and power it up. It's easy to do. And it fires right up 12 volts to here to the monitor cable and we can connect them and they, they work immediately, right out of the box, there's no programming to do, it's exactly what you want. Take it out of the box and use it. So the camera sends a nice clear picture to the monitor, there's no flickering, there's no cutting in and out, no lines running through it, very nice clear picture. So it has the, the mounting brackets that you need for the dash or the back of the RV, so it comes complete, it's a compact, easy to use system then and if you do have to change the setting in it like i said piece of cake this thing is easy nice color monitor so yeah, you see everything in colors not black and white and that's important and those are things you might not even catch when you buy a system color is important you'll want to see that don't think that it isn't because if you get one that's not in color you'll hate it now what if your rv is not pre-wired for a a backup system or a rear observation system. Well, first off, let me say this. If it's pre-wired for a Furion, this will fit right in place, no problem. If it's right into the same screw holes as the Furion. So that makes it nice. But if it's not pre-wired, it's just a matter of tying into the clearance lights at the back of the RV. You find the t clearance light and you run a wire behind it. So you have to pull the clearance light out, access the wires, and the camera can go below, above or below, off to the side of the clearance light, depending on your RV and how it's configured, what you can do or have to do. So that makes it easy. It's just basically two wire connections. So it's connecting this to your clearance light system. And this, this cord is a little long, and it comes with a plug that plugs into the camera, waterproof plug. So you cut it down to the size you need, and you just stick a little extra inside the RV so you have some extras you can pull it out if you have to work on it down the road. Simple things like that. So it's it's not complex at all. I mean, you can eyeball it for drilling your holes. You don't even have to get out a tape measure if you don't want to. I would, but you don't have to. That's just how easy it is to install. And so when it's tied into the clearance lights, you just have to remember that they have to be turned on for the camera to work. That's where it's getting its power from. Then the monitor will be plugged in on the dash, and so that's going to work off the power in the uh, vehicle in your truck. Very simple. So this system comes with a five inch monitor that I feel is probably perfect for most applications, unless you got a gigantic dash and you really want seven inches or there's something else going on. And I was even skeptical about the size of this five inches versus seven inches. 
and the five inch is perfect. Um, the seven inch is that much bigger. It is almost like having an iPad on the dash because it's that much bigger because you got the frame of everything. So this is a case where bigger is not always better. This is definitely a good size monitor. You might decide you want a bigger one, but I don't think you need one. This will be great. And I talked about the power cable and that's really the only thing I don't like about it. So all in all, a system that sells for less than $400 compared to $700 or a little over $700, this system definitely gets the smart RV or seal of approval. This system rocks. It is nice. So it's the one we recommend here at the Smart RV or Podcast. Thanks for stopping by today. There's going to be more information in the description down below and links to the website where you can get more information on the, the different camera systems. And don't forget to subscribe. 